Welcome back everyone to another trading week. This time around you're watching the week of November 21st where we had display on Saturday and uh, you can see some of the other focuses for this particular week. So once a year, uh, TriStar, as I think most gymnastics clubs, host a display where the groups put something together for, for parents and make a bit of a show about it. And I have an interesting history with display and especially display at TriStar. Uh, this was my third display. And every time I try to do one big skill on high bar, now it's different from doing it at a, at a competition because first of all, the, the environment's completely different. It's more of a fun thing. And the way our display is structured, you kind of just have to go on the fly. So you don't get much warm up. Um, you get to warm up like an hour or so before the whole thing starts. But once things get going, you can't get on the equipment because it's been used for performances. And so, of course, it makes it difficult to go up to high bar, for instance, and uh, do a do a Gaylord or a Coleman. And uh, my first time there, uh, my first time at the display, I tried to do a Tuck Gaylord. And much like my own skill at the 2017 World Championships, I ended up missing two times before catching it uh, on the third try. And after that, I usually do a catch it or something. So what you're gonna see this week is some of these random clips where it looks like I only take one turn. Um, and what I was doing, I was doing my uh, display performance, or at least the first part of it, which was the Coleman. I was doing it cold, meaning I wasn't uh, doing any warm up at all. I would just put my guards on and uh, throw the Coleman straight away. And I think I, I did it, I must have done it uh, about four times or so before the actual display. And I'll let you see how, uh, how everything culminated on the Saturday. So the second display, I tried to do a Pike Gaylord. And uh, I remember I learned the lesson from the first time around where I kept on being too far. So I sent it quite early and what ended up happening was I did have the bar within my my grass, but the bar was a lot closer than I thought it was gonna be. So I kind of reached out, but got hit by the bar in the forearms. So the second display was a no-go either. So this time I thought, surely I can, I can catch something big during display. And I actually trained for it. Whereas the previous years, I would just uh, just go for it really on the on the display day. Another interesting bit about display is uh, in the men's program, it's become an event where a gymnast who's close to a new skill will throw it in the performance and use a bit of that extra adrenaline and hype to, to, just, uh, to just go and try it out. And it's quite exciting because uh, everybody in the, in the men's gymnastics space uh, in the club knows that uh, you know the guy's gonna throw it and everybody gets pretty pretty hyped up and pretty rowdy um and just to give you a little bit of history uh we have uh tane murray who, who coaches and covers for me while i'm uh away at competitions um as well as many other coaches he learned a, a double layout from the high bar at display and he was telling me the story when i saw him a few weeks ago that he had so much adrenaline, he actually ended up over-rotating the double out onto that uh, big blue crash mat that you usually see me landing on over the pit. Whereas prior to that, he had only done it into, into a foam pit. Um, Zane Kofi, who you guys would have seen in some old coaches, uh, coaches' corners. Zane is now uh, a plumber doing, doing the hard yards, doing the hard work. Uh, Zane sent a front straddle flip on the P-bars for the first time without any pads on the bar during display. And I remember that moment, it was, it was really hype. Um, Zane also had the most hypest Kovacs you've ever seen. Uh, if you guys uh, remember, it was a, lot, a few years ago, but Zane caught it for his first Kovacs and literally every single person from the mag space just sprinted over, tackled him into the pit, 
and dogpiled Zane after he caught his first Kovacs, but that wasn't on display. Now this time around was no exception. Um, Shoma, who you uh, ha haven't seen too much of because he's just starting his senior adventures, um, he was telling me, Misha, I've done the same display for the last uh, three or four years, nothing's changed. And I thought, well, well, that can't be very good. Um, doing the same thing, uh, you, you know, almost seems like you're not making any progress when I know that he is, he is making progress. And of course, the problem with P-Bar is after you learn your swings to handstand and uh, your half turns and presses, the, the next steps like a Stutz or a Diamanov uh, takes quite a long time to, to accomplish. But Sioma had been, uh, he's been doing the back the backflip from the parallel bars for quite a while, but he's, he had never done it unspotted. So this time I thought, well, you know, I'll spot him from the, the high P-Bars and it was fine. So then we went unspotted and in the end, Sioma threw his first ever uh, unspotted back tuck. <laughs> I thought I'd leave that one unmuted for the for the emotions. Um, so Sioma threw his first back tuck uh, unspotted in the display. So next display, what's it gonna be? Uh, who's gonna who's gonna throw the new thing? We'll have to find out and see. Now about these marasses or piked gaylords. Since I've come back, you know, obviously the energy's kind of decreased a bit after such so much hype at the World Championships, but I've also struggled a little bit with a uh, grip on the bar. It's uh, become a little bit dry, and just doing really fast front giants. Uh, I felt like I was getting a bit pulled off the bar, so I've been a little bit cautious uh, going too hard on the on the Pike Pagans or the Maras until about uh, late this week. So things started to pick back up, and uh, like I said, I'll give myself till about Christmas break, and then after that, um, I think I should start taking my first half a little bit more seriously and return to making my regular Pagan more consistent. This day in particular was a really good tumbling day. Uh, that was supposed to be a double-double, but there you go, I did it, and uh, I was really happy with how it turned out. Full spot, half spot, half land. There you have it, but I haven't done it since. I've been doing a lot of double back falls, and I think it would be pretty fun to add uh, at least a double back fall into my routine. It's only 0.1 more, but in reality, I don't stick the double tuck uh, very often in the routine and uh, I actually if you remember my build-up to Commonwealth Games I did have a problem with keeping my knees together so with a double tuck full my knees are naturally uh, together when I do the spot half half um, they don't split so it's only point one more for quite a lot more effort but you know sometimes it's worth the fun because I do enjoy doing the skill uh, like I said in a weekly focus, the the return to sequences uh, has begun and thankfully uh, I didn't feel too too bad at all doing my first half and second half on P-Bar. I'm being a little bit more careful with the Healy type elements because it has been a while. Um, aha! Insert shout out to uh, Abel. Abel, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right, but I've been meaning to give Abel from Tauranga a shout out. He's a... He's a junior gymnast from Tauranga, making his way up, and uh, he's been asking for me to give him the shout out for a long time. And I said in the, in the comments, Abel, if I forget again, uh, I'm gonna get you a, a chocolate bar next time I see you up here at camp or something. But Abel, I was smart, and uh, I inserted that little reminder. So, so there you go. Uh, I hope your training is going well, and uh, all the best for for Christmas break. Looking forward to seeing you again at camp or just uh, somewhere down in Tauranga, which is my favorite city in the New Zealand. Uh, and I'll be visiting over after Christmas on the 26th. I'll be there for a week. It's uh, one of my go-to holiday or vacation spots. So here you go, display. Let's see what happened. What did I do? And you see there on the left, that's Sioma for his uh, p bus. What? 
I missed it. Display 3, Misha 0. I have missed three big releases at display, three displays in a row. So, uh, you know, what can we do except try again next time? Ketchup, of course, is, uh, isn't difficult for me, and I put in uh, some one-arm work just for to please the audience a little bit. And you know, I thought I went early, but again, with the adrenaline, it just changes things. And we're gonna finish today off with uh, Sam trying out his new ring sequence. Sam added the back kip Maltese and the um, Azarian Maltese to his routine. So you're gonna see that now. And myself and Sam, we, the grind has started for World Cups in March. So thank you for watching and uh, until next time.